what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little different um i feel like i haven't spoke to you guys in a while i haven't you know let you guys in to my life like i usually do in a while and today is that day um i usually don't make videos like this i usually don't do stuff like this on the internet and a lot of you know this but this is a much needed video for my fans and supporters i am very i am very against bringing my personal problems relationship problems life problems family problems anything like that to the internet um a lot of you know this about me i do not like to do that at all i hate that with a passion um and not that i'm trying to bring it to you guys but i know people who are a part of my community on youtube and instagram need a little bit more clarity um it's a very confusing situation for you guys i can understand so i just want to break down the timeline and give you guys a little bit more um and bring you guys a little bit more in depth of you know my life and what has been going on so as some of you know um me and Menelik well a lot of you don't know because i didn't say it Menelik didn't say it we did not say it but i want to just let you guys know that me and Menelik did separate and we was not on good terms for about five to six months and i know a lot of you kind of speculated it um you guys were putting a lot of the pieces together without me even having to say it and um it was kind of bizarre that you guys were catching on but i feel like because i've been on the internet for so long and because a lot of you have been a part of my uh community my supporters um you guys just know when something is different in my life you know i can date back to when you guys started to catch on it was around august maybe a lot of you started to catch on because you guys didn't see me and Menelik together at all um you seen me at home basically you know not doing anything and you guys seen Menelik in another place for months this was happening for months you guys seen him um, in a lot of different cities and was trying to figure out why i wasn't with him when was new videos coming out when was we gonna post more pictures together? Are we okay? I was getting so many DMs and so many uh, messages saying, what is going on with Menelik? Like, what's going on with you? Why are you guys not spending time together? Like, I haven't seen you guys together in a few months. And this was, this was around the time that we kinda, you know, we wasn't on good terms. We was trying to figure out what we wanted to do. We was not seeing eye to eye. Truthfully, we really didn't even understand each other. Like, I don't think you guys really understand um, how hard it was. It, it was really hard. And this is not something that I'm going to come to the internet and talk about. So that's that's why you guys kind of have been, like, really confused for the past few months. And me and Menelik were also confused as well. Like, we wasn't sure if we wanted to be together. We wasn't sure if we wanted to make this work. We wasn't sure if we had the energy to make it work because we were so exhausted from fighting and so exhausted from being upset at each other. So around that time, which probably was about September, um, I remember me and Menelik did not speak at all um we did not speak we did not we didn't speak at all um we didn't know follow each other i guess it was because we me and him already made a pact that whatever relationship problems we had we wasn't going to bring it to the internet until we knew for sure that you know okay this is a decision we want to make we're not going to be together let's just end it here so we didn't do none of the social media stuff. You guys probably did see a spat between us in the comments or something like that. Like, you know, something like that. But we didn't bring it any further than that. And me and Menelik decided to, you know, speak and try to work things out. And that's when I packed my bags and flew to Los Angeles. Like I said, he was traveling. He was a lot of places. So I decided to pack my bags and go to where he was at so that we can make this work. A lot of you guys do remember around that time when, you know, I was posting on Twitter and I was making a joke about going to get Menelik and I was like, you know, I'm going to beat this boy up. I'm about to go on a flight to beat this boy up. A lot of you guys like 
were laughing about the tweet you guys were very confused about it as well because you guys were already asking a lot of questions um but this was that time period yeah i packed my bags i flew to los angeles so that we can make this work so when i got back from la um our relationship was not working out and it was very sad it was very um it was just a very sad situation and me and Menelik had decided to separate we didn't unfollow each other still because i was very afraid of bringing this to the internet people go through relationship problems all the time people have fights with their boyfriends or girlfriends they unfollow each other they they do things like that i personally don't like that because i have a large fan base that truly does believe in me and i just never want to bring any of that type of confusion or energy but clearly there is some confusion like i said i know you guys don't know that but i'm letting you guys know right now and letting you guys in on the facts that we were separated yeah we were so we just we both decided to be single we both decided that this is not what we wanted and um started talking to other people we started talking to other people um seeing other people and you know being single we didn't want to address the situation yet because we didn't know how to as far as us not being together and us being broken up we really didn't know how to do that without it being a mess um i was very afraid menelik knew how much of, of a fear i have of you know addressing those situations because truthfully really you guys to be honest every relationship that i've had has when i decide that you know i don't want to be in that relationship no more it gets very messy and that's not on my side and sometimes that's the only thing that i can like associate breakups with with it being messy because i've never had a healthy breakup like i've never had a healthy situation where we could just end it and go our separate ways like it, it never does that like so in my brain I was very afraid because I the only thing I have seen were messy breakups and I just didn't want to do that. So I'm like, okay, let's just wait, let's just wait. I kept waiting it out and procrastinating and um, it got to a point where we just unfollowed each other. We didn't say anything. We didn't address anything. We didn't, like, we've never said anything. So I understand why a lot of you guys are confused about, you know, my status of me being in a relationship um because i never let you guys in on that um we had plans to but it just never worked out with us talking to other people me talking to other people it was just something that i did as a single woman you know i'm 26 years old that's just something that any 26 year old is going to do they're going to talk to people they're going to talk to whoever they want to it's kind of weird that me and Menelik both came to um, this middle ground at the same time that this is what we wanted to work on. You know, we this relationship, we have been in this relationship for three years and we didn't even celebrate our three year anniversary. Like, that was something so special to us and we didn't even celebrate it because we weren't together. We both came to a middle ground at the same time that we did want to make this work and that we did love each other and you know the effort that we had was only for each other and and that's what and that's where we are now me and Menelik are together right now we are trying to you know work things out be on the same page and really understand each other because as young adults as young adults who don't have kids we really don't know each other we're tr learning each other so me and Menelik are on a page of trying to figure out 
you know, how to treat people. And that's just something that comes with being in a relationship. Regardless of what age you're in a relationship at, you have to learn your partner, regardless if you want to or not. If you want to be with somebody, you have to learn the things that they like, the things that they don't like. And you also have to teach them how to treat you. You have to teach them your boundaries. You have to teach them what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate. And you have to teach them how to treat you. No one's going to come into a relationship being perfect and knowing, you know, how to treat you, how to not treat you. No one has grown up the same. No one has grown up in the same household. That's the stage that we are at right now. We understand that we are two total different people and we love each other for it. And me and Menelik have known each other for about six to seven years and we've only been in a relationship for three. So we have a lot of work to do. You know, we're very young. We're still very, you know, young-minded, if you will. We have a lot of growing to do. And I know you guys, <laughs> you guys are literally like in the middle of us becoming adults. We're young adults, but you know, my life is on the internet. So you guys are gonna see all of the ins and outs, all of my breakdowns, all of the things that I don't want no one to see. Like I, sometimes there's things that I don't want on the internet that are on the internet no one wants their ugly stuff on the internet like and that's just the total truth no one wants that on the internet no one wants that out to the public to be judged it's not easy being on camera or being a public figure it's that's really not the easiest thing to do ever like it's not so yeah you guys are gonna see I know you guys have seen me go through breakups you guys have seen me be in drama and I just want to be clear and honest that those are not things that I want you to see and this is why I rarely speak on things because sometimes when I speak on things it's gonna blow up and that's not something I want because truthfully my supporters you guys are here for me and I don't bring drama to my channel that's not something I do and a lot of you guys can you know back me up on that and that's not something that's not something that I ever want to just be that's not that's not my brand that's not who I am that's not Aaliyah J and it's never going to be Aaliyah J I'm never going to have to do something like that for you guys to love me and be here for me and enjoy my content I just I just wanted to make that clear for you guys because I know there's a lot of questions and a lot of speculation and a lot of and a lot of chitter chatter around me and my relationship status and you know what i was doing and all of this other stuff but i just wanted to make that clear for you guys because you guys are here for me you guys are the reason why i am why i am is because me and my supporters have a relationship and i never want to you know jeopardize that with some stupid drama i'm sorry that it had to come to this point that i have to make a video addressing you know my relationship status and you know my relationship status back then and a couple months ago a couple weeks ago like you know it's, it's it's very silly and immature to me but i really do owe you guys that because um it's not fair to you guys as my supporters i want to thank i want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video um and i really do appreciate you guys for all you guys who have sent me positive messages um i want to give you guys a big hug and kiss because you really don't know i really needed it i'm still human and sometimes i need that support system sometimes i need those encouraging words little do you know um, i'm not the strongest person and i'm not a, a fake doll that has no emotions i still have feelings at the end of the day you know so i just want to send you guys a very 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 big hug for that because so many of you have been super supportive um in this situation thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video I love you. Bye.